Biden comes out, and, and I, last week on the show, Barclays made a point that I kind of agreed with. It looked like it was forced, right? It looked like it was rushed, probably because of 9-11. He doesn't even have it printed yet, but essentially he's going to say, if you do business with the federal government and you do anything that touches the federal government, you have to have a vaccine. I saw you wrote a letter to the president objecting. What was the letter about? Um, just going over some, some case history um, that was researched and just really trying to send a message of solidarity. And I really like the idea of that letter because looking at what we could do in the legislature, there's not a whole lot at this moment from what I've gathered over the last 24 hours. And we got to wait for the actual rule to get written. And so to me, this letter was just kind of the quickest way to stand up for our citizens and say, we're going to take a stand against this for you. And I was happy to sign on. I was a little disappointed when they actually put a little signature line because I wanted to be the John Hancock on that, <laughs> on that deal. I wanted to sign as big as I could in my terrible cursive handwriting, you know, Curtis Gregory on there. But I was really excited about that letter. Representative, I, I understand what he's trying to do, but if you do business with the federal government now, you're probably a big company. Most big companies are making their employees get vaccinated. It looked like it was maybe rushed. Like, you make this announcement before you even got it done. Wouldn't you write the order, then announce it? You know, I think that it was an opportunity for the administration to signal to the country that they are ready and willing to take bold moves to stop this pandemic. And I think that, unfortunately, you know, I, I understand the idea behind the letter that the Speaker and um, House Republicans wrote and signed on to. Um, unfortunately, though, I, I really feel that um, it's not offering solutions. It's just challenging the order. And what we need to do is stop this pandemic. And if we don't stop the pandemic, complaining about it isn't going gonna, isn't gonna to solve it. But do you really think the answer? I mean, I, if you want a vaccine in Missouri, you can get one. No waiting, pretty much. I've been vaccinated. That's what I chose. But the folks that have chosen to not get the vaccine, you really think forcing them is the move? You know, uh, there's precedent for that. Uh, 1777 we started and George Washington ordered uh, inoculation of his troops against smallpox. We've been doing this since the founding of our country. We need to keep each other safe. Public health is a must. Representative Weber, it feels a little bit forced when you, you instead of making the case to folks they should take the vaccine, now you're just making them take the vaccine. It feels as though, may, it, I don't wanna say heavy handed because I think it comes from a good place on it, but it does have a bit of, um, is it really necessary? Uh, I, I feel that at this point it is necessary. I mean, we are sitting in a pandemic. We are still masking up. Uh, people are still, I mean, our hospitals are getting full. And so I think at this point, we really need to do something to make sure that we don't have any more variants that are going to be coming through, especially in Missouri. Uh, you know, I'm in Kansas City and our hospitals are just filled to the rim. And um, our healthcare workers are pleading for our help at, once again to please get vaccinated because what they're seeing is the non-vaccinated people coming into the hospitals who are who are deathly sick and then who eventually some uh, unfortunately die and so i think at this point we really need to curve this and so we can help each other and we can move on safely aaron beggar if you don't want the vaccine no it's not the decision i made i, I don't know that it's that smart of a decision but if you don't want it is it really the move to force people to take it this is a this is a really tough situation because Republican voters don't feel like politicians or people can stop a pandemic. General election voters, when we go into November in places like Platt and Jackson County, Republicans are going to have a really hard time because if they don't show that they're doing things to stop the pandemic, uh, they may get punished for it. And so when you're running in a primary or versus a general, these are really tough issues. And it's going to be a while before we know, politically speaking, at those elections, what voters really think about these topics. All right, Representative, I got a mother in West Butler County. <clears throat> She's just stubborn as she can be, won't take the shot. What would you say to somebody to try to, instead of forcing them, what would you say to convince someone? I have found that the best way to talk to folks who are vaccine hesitant is to ask questions and to really understand where they're coming from, because that's the most important thing we can do is find out um, what their reasons are, because we all have our own reasons for making the personal decisions we make, and I understand that. Uh, you know, what I would really emphasize, though, is that um, Americans have a history of, of looking out for each other. Missourians have a history of looking out for each other. We take care of each other, and we are being asked by our leaders, by each other, to protect each other, and I think we should just do that. Aaron Baker, you persuade more people to do more things than probably anybody I know. How would you persuade folks on this? Well, do, do you go out and encourage them to get vaccinated, and what, what case can you make? I think the media is missing out on telling folks that this is Donald Trump's vaccine. Yeah, I thought that too. We need to have conservatives pleading with conservatives who are vaccine hesitant oh. and making arguments that make sense to them. 
uh, you know, people might get vaccinated because they found out you were or, or I was, yep. you know, we got to let those folks know. And I think we can't be shy to give credit to conservatives who are doing that and let conservatives. Well, talk Jason to conservatives Smith says he issue. took the Trump vaccine, right? <clears throat> he that's should. His. That I mean, that's a great way to put it.